President. <clears throat> Colleagues, um, I don't believe in taking personal privileges, particularly when you um, are talking about something or somebody out of the body. I think that's inappropriate for our rules. But I do want to take just a moment to talk about somebody who passed recently. It was one of our guides, um, <laughs> see if I can get through this without crying, who took us up and down the mountain. McKK, uh, by the third day, was kind of assigned to me by Kambe, and that was the day I hurt my knee. And then on the way down, and even somewhat going up, it was usually McKK, Senator Hansen, and myself who were way behind the entire group, because going down, my knee was swelling up to about the uh, size of a watermelon. Senator Hansen gave me a, a brace that was too small, but we made it work and we drugged up every day so I can finish the climb. I don't talk about Africa because it fundamentally changed my life. And like my own wife and people, we, we went through some uh, videos, but I don't really get into the emotional aspect of it because it was, it was a little different for me as it is for everybody else. But at one point when we were going up the mountain, um, without me asking, he would lighten my load all the time and make sure it was lighter so I can make it up the mountain. I, I joked at the end of it, was he assigned to me because I was the only black American on the trip and I had at least be the one who would like get to the top. Uh, we didn't want everybody else to get there and he just would laugh. But on the way down, he stayed with us. One night, Ben and I got in super late. It was dark. When I say super late, it was dark. And he stayed with us the whole way, him and Emmanuel the whole way, because um, my knee was just so bad. For those who don't know, I'm getting shots and next week they're gonna determine whether I get surgery on my knee. But I wanted to take this moment to mention him because he died on the mountain, January 11th. Doing what he does and doing what he loves, but over there, there is no workers comp, there is no fund, and he left behind three kids and a wife. And I wanted to make sure that if his kids ever Googled his name, that they know that he had worldwide impact beyond Tanzania. His spelling is M-A-K-E-K-E -E -E space Frederick, F-E-R-D, F-E-R-E-D-R-I-C-K, Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T, Sandy, S-A-N-D-I. The things that he taught me was to always keep going. And for the last 100 yards, he left me to go talk to Brewer the last mile, I would say, to make sure Brewer didn't stop. And he stayed with Brewer in his ear the whole time like he did me most of the way up. So he taught us to keep it going no matter what. He taught us that If you can lighten the load for somebody else, do it. Don't ask questions, just do it. He taught us to make sure you never leave anyone behind. And every day he made sure that nobody was left behind. He taught us to always find joy in everything that, he, that you do. Hanson and I had a a lot of great conversations with Emmanuel Makiki. And he always found ways to laugh. He reminded us, don't, don't forget to lift others up on the way there. They're having some fun, but making sure you're positive on the way up when things weren't always looking good is the way to keep striving. And the biggest thing he reminded me was, always throw your rope back. That nobody pulls himself up by their own bootstraps. But when you get up, make sure you throw the rope back. 
This individual didn't know we were senators till day three, but throughout the entire time, he took care of us. He made sure we were fine. He made sure we made it to the top and that nobody would fail. If that means taking extra breaks, if that means drinking extra water, if that means saying a joke or two. And so if his children ever watch this, or his wife, this senator for Nebraska is grateful to spend seven days on a mountain with your father. He will forever be remembered and cherished. Thank you.